Hey YouTube, this is SMC iPod Pro, and today I'm going to be remaking a video that I've actually done in the past, um, and that is going to be how to make a custom theme on your iPod Touch or uh, iPhone. Um, the video that I had in the past was very popular, um, but it was removed from YouTube uh, for no apparent reason at all. Um, so I'm just going to remake it. Um, so basically what I'm going to allow you to do is make a theme similar to what you're seeing on my iPad right now with a background, then the dock, which is those neon lights, and also how to make a custom icon. Um, so in order to start out, you're going to want to first pretty much have a theme in mind. Then we're going to go into Photoshop. And you might be able to use other programs, but um, I prefer Photoshop because it allows you to work in pixels, which is what you need to size it by. So what you're going to do is hit File, New, and then make sure on the side here it says Pixels, and you're going to plug in 320 uh, wide by uh, 480 tall. And then click OK, and it'll give you this space and so what you want to do is then find a picture that you want to uh, use and I'm going to make a sort of African sunrise sort of a thing, uh, theme so I'm going to copy this picture and then get it into Photoshop and once it's in there you just want to um, transform it and stuff and get it so that it fits into the uh, space allotted Alright, so I'm going to go 80% on that. Uh, now you're going to probably spend a lot more time getting the picture edited. You can do all sort of like layers and filters and stuff on it. But for uh, the tutorial, I'm just going to kind of rush through this. So I have the picture and it fills the space completely. Uh, so now what you want to do is save that file. So I'm going to go File, Save As. And what I'm going to do is go onto the desktop and I'm actually going to make a new folder and I'm going to name this African Sunrise as the name of the theme so I'm going to open that up and once you're in there um, when you're going to save it go down to format and click that and scroll down until you see PNG you need to save this as a PNG file and then you're going to name this wallpaper capital W and then the rest you can spell so it should be wallpaper.png and you're good so you're gonna click save alright so that's saved now we're gonna make the custom dock so we're gonna hit new um, and pixels now it's gonna be 320 wide just like the other one but it's only gonna be 91 pixels tall and click OK so you'll have that space pop up. Now I have another picture for that, and it's sort of just some African texture. So I'll copy that over, paste it, and then I'm going to just work this to fit. Oh. But I guess I won't do that. Um, or 60% and like I said before you'd spend a lot more time on this um, but yeah I think that looks pretty cool I'll just make sure that's centered the best I can alright so that's the uh, dock filled in and now you can save that also so you're going to file save as in the same folder so African Sunrise make sure it's a PNG file once again and you are going to save this as doc capital D O C K dot PNG and click save alright and now we are going to make an icon Alright, so I'm going to go into internet, and actually I'll show you first, 
I'm going to create an icon for memory info. I'm circling that right now. Um, so what I want to do is put a picture of like a brain on there um, to, for memory. Um, so you're going to go into Photoshop once again and hit File New. And this is only 60 pixels by 60 pixels. So square. You'll click OK. Now I'll transfer this picture into there. And yes, I'm using Windows 7 and I love it so far. So just in case you were wondering. Uh, gosh, this is being obnoxious. Alright, so I'll zoom in on this so it's easier to see. Alright, so we're zoomed in. I'll get this centered. And let's say I don't want that black background because all I want is to have that brain as the um, icon. So what I can do is use like quick selection tool, get all the black. actually got some of the stuff I didn't want so I'll reselect that and once again with this you're also going to probably spend way more time than I am I'm just kind of trying to get this done alright so I got the black selected I'll delete it so now it has white um, actually what I'll do is erase it just so actually it is erased it's just out of a background make sure if you have a background layer uh, down here you delete that layer so it's just the one layer that you have your picture on so now you see the gray and white boxes that means that there's nothing there so deselect what I have and there's my icon so now what I'm going to do is save this and this one is a little bit different you're gonna in the folder that you have uh, for your theme you're gonna create a new folder and you're gonna call it icons capital I C O N S enter and then you're gonna open that and the name of this make sure it's PNG uh, by the way you're gonna name it exactly what appears on your iPod so if I look on my iPod, you can see it says memory info, all one word, capital M, and then the capital I in info. So that's what I want to save it as. I want to save it as memory info dot png. And I'd save it in there. And that's all that there is to it. Um, in the second tutorial, it is going to show you a few more um, nifty things that you can do with the theme um, and it'll also show you how to put the theme then onto your iPod um, so please watch the second vi uh, video I will post a link to it in the video description and probably have an annotation for it in this one um, the theme that it's going to be working on in the second part is skateboarding based um, because once again this video is just replacing one that was removed from YouTube um, so, yes, please rate this video five stars. Uh, feel free to comment, and please subscribe to my channel, guys. That's really helpful. Alright, so have a great day.